Michael Jackson, Smooth Criminal. First time reaction coming up in 30 seconds. Hey, this is Matt Crisquolo coming to you up close and personal with a first time reaction. I know the song Smooth Criminal. I never saw the video, so that should be fun. And plus, I haven't heard the song in a long time. It'll be great to go back in time and check out the song. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, please. And don't be late next time. It's not the same without you. Come on, you know that. Anyway, let's get right to it, shall we? Bye, Em. I love it. It's cool. Wow, what a production he put on with these shows. Um, was Quincy Jones part of this whole production, you know, with the music and everything When, when at this point in Michael Jackson's uh, career? Let me know in the comments. That would be good. And for those of you who ever did marching band like I did, do you recognize those little white things that are over his shoes? You got to kind of like put them on and they kind of drape over your shoes. They're white. And, you know, they're just whatever, you know. Uh, but I remember those from Marching Band. They were kind of a drag to put on and take off. But uh, they look good on MJ. Hey. I will admit, I will admit that the music has got a certain amount of uh, buoyancy and space in it, and it's funky as a mufka, but it's got that that little space in it. In other words, they're not flooding the sound. There's... You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of little pockets and little gaps of space that kind of, you know... It's it's slick, man. It's real slick. I would not be surprised if Quincy Jones was behind this.
You know, MJ and all those guys were really, really good dancers, and the choreography and everything. It's like a, this is a short film, basically. It's like a little, a little musical short film. Uh, but yeah, cool stuff, man. Like a big speakeasy. Reminds me a little bit of a place that I go to in Manhattan once in a while called Jekyll and Hyde. You know, if they emptied out all the tables and everything, they could probably film this video there. You know, <laughs> you know what I was going to say, sorry to cut it there, but I was going to say I spent a lot of time in, in theater with actors and being in the band and and just also pr I've produced shows, you know, with actors and everything and musical theater and straight this and that and the other thing, uh, dance, you name it. I've been around it. I've produced it. I've performed in it. And I just love all of the that that whole culture uh, that 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 those types of people bring, you know, to like the the set when you're hanging out. You know, I've just always been the band geek, you know, and and just dealing and just hanging out with the actors and everything. I just loved it. I think they're fun, fun group of people. And uh, and dedicated to their art and their craft. And, you know, it's just when I saw that whole scene over there of everybody acting and, you know, doing what they're doing, I just it reminded me of being in that mix. I enjoyed that. That was fun. Hey, you know. <laughs>
You know, I, I, I don't know a ton about dance, but I did did used to date a dancer and uh, for, for a number of years. And so I used to go to New York City a lot, check out a lot of dance, be involved in that whole world. You know, a little I know a bit about, uh, you know, Alvin Ailey and some of the other great uh, modern, uh, you know, modern dancers, uh, Martha Graham and whatnot. And what I learned was, and when I look at Michael Jackson, I see the way he doesn't, you know, move his body a lot with certain moves. He could just be moving, you know, just his shoulder, you know, like, well, to the beat, and the rest of his body will be still. And, you know, you would think that something so small and so minimalistic would be so effective. But dancers know more about this than I do, and there's probably a term for it. But just moving one part of your body in a rhythm and a very pronounced movement is very effective for some reason. Maybe you know. You can tell us in the description below, huh? What way? What better way to end a Michael Jackson song than with a scream? Uh, was that a Tommy gun? <laughs> man, oh man, that was a fun little video. Uh, wow, what a great production too, huh? I enjoyed that very much. I hope that you did as well. If you could tell us a little bit about what you little factoids that you might know about the song and about the video, that would be great. Um, it's always helpful for all of us who tune in, myself included, because we do read the comments, you know. And I do heart all the comments, and I try to respond to as many as I can. Like I said, guys, I'm here for you. Whatever you ask me to react to, that's what I do. It's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. And you take it easy. And if it's real easy, take it twice. <laughs>